Well, thank you very much. Thank you. We're going to play a tune. Uh, I'm going to introduce my old uh, cigar box here. This is a wonderful instrument. It's literally a cigar box, a Romeo and Juliet cigars. And uh, the guy over on the far side there, he smoked all the cigars there, Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a couple of broomsticks run through the center of it, a couple of beer caps holding the strings on there. Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> Didn't Fidel put his signature on there? Yeah, that's right. That's uh, Fidel and his brother Ralph there. They put that <laughs> <thing> <laughs> there. Oh, yeah, I'm 
got Bruce Springsteen on drums, and uh, that was a Bruce song. And the uh, uh, reason I play the Bruce song is because he came to one of my shows one time and showed up and sitting in the front row, and uh, he re he signed this thing here and he wrote right there, uh, "I got to get one of these." <laughs> he signed it there, and uh, he hasn't come around lately. I'm gonna have to. What's up with that? A fellow was was doing an interview today, and the fellow was asking me, uh, "So, are you still in in touch with Bruce Springsteen? Like I know him, like I go over there every weekend, right?" And I said, "Besides, except when he comes over to do my grass, I don't see him really. <laughs> Hardly ever around." Better check that phase shifter you got there. <laughs> Something wrong with your phase shifter. I don't know. Well, we're going back to the Far East, uh, the land of enlightenment and mysticism. We're talking about Tasmania. 